guys. Welcome back. Today should be a fun soap. I'm going to be making a watermelon soap. So I'm going to be using two of these fragrances from Crafter's Choice. Um, the watermelon lemonade fragrance and the watermelon mania. The reason I'm using two is because this one um, is going to accelerate and possibly rice. So I'm just going to be using a little bit of this in the bottom of the soap. And then for the main part of the soap, I'm going to be using this because I can't really afford any acceleration. So I'm going to mix the two of these. Uh, this one definitely smells better. Um, but this one is nice too, so it should make a nice fragrance soap. I am also going to be using several greens. The Green Vibrance from Nurture. This for the Rhine. And also a little bit of the New Leaf from Nurture. Also for the Rhine. And I might throw in some of this Brambleberry, which I don't know the name of because the name came off, but I just have a tiny bit of that left and I might toss that in there too. I'll be using a little bit of titanium dioxide and then I will be using some of the raspberry red for my watermelon. And then lastly, I'm going to put some soap with activated charcoal in here and use that for my seeds in the watermelon. So I think that's about it. Um, I'm gonna put some gloves on and we'll make some soap.
Okay guys, change of plans, because as you can see, we have a lot of acceleration going on here. So instead of the black charcoal, we're gonna use poppy seeds and stir this in the best I can and try to get this in the mold. I may not be able to do it. <laughs> I may be making some more soap tonight. Oh boy, I am sweating. Sweating, I tell you. Hi guys, um, 24 hours later, and here we are to cut this soap up. And I gotta tell you, I'm not too excited about this, um, but I decided to finish strong and cut this up and make this video in full transparency. Um, I'm pretty sure I have a total fail here. Um, not only is the top just so not pretty, um, one acceleration after the other, and um, yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Um, I think what I did was, I think I got my fragrances mixed up. I think I thought that I bought the little one because I was only going to use a little bit of this because it riced. And um, in, in actuality, I was going to use all of this one and then just add a little bit of this one. So, um, anyways, that was a disaster. And I have more than one disaster because um, the first batch that absolutely seized with the poppy seeds in it, at first, I thought, well, I'll make soap dough and I'll stick it in a plastic bag and let it sit for a while and we'll have soap dough. It was so hot. It was literally hot to touch with my hands, with the gloves on. Um, I put it in the bag for a while and then I thought, I have no idea what I'm going to make with soap, that kind of soap dough. So I took it out and I smushed it 
into a loaf thinking I would come up with some brilliant idea. But as you can see, it's a super big crumbly mess. It's breaking in half. Um, it smells divine, but probably I'm going to throw that in a crock pot and rebatch it. Um, if any of my soper friends that follow have any ideas what I should do with that, please, please throw me a bone. Tell me, what would you do with that? Um, at this point, crock potting it and rebatching it seems like the best bet for me. So this is not horrible, but this is not what I was going for. And it's such a bummer because I, a couple years ago, I made that really cute watermelon soap. It's in the intro. If you watch the slides of the soap from the intro, that soap, that watermelon soap is in there. And it was so super cute. And um, it may be the only watermelon soap that I ever make. I don't know if I'm going to retry this. I don't know how I feel about that. But um, I wish that I would have not been in such a hurry and made my pink a little bit more watermelony pink. This looks kind of like anemic watermelon. And um, also, I just did a half a batch. So this, I wanted this higher. I wanted it taller. And then all my seeds are in a row. It's just not, it's not what I envisioned. Hi guys, really quick, I just want to give you an update on the watermelon soap. You can see that it has discolored over the week and there's no white left. It's discolored. I actually really like that color and I'll never be able to duplicate it because it was from the fragrance. But um, yeah, the soap has grown on me. It's kind of a abstract looking watermelon which is kind of fun. So I did keep some of the bars my usual size, stamped some of them, left some of them unstamped. And then I made these smaller bars because I thought they kind of looked pretty and interesting. And I cut some of them up with the seed in them this direction and just kind of did like a wonky little thing. So um, yeah, I like it. After a week, I like it. And thank you guys for watching my crazy soap making. And I will see you on the next one. Hopefully it goes a little better. <laughs>